It's our distinct pleasure to have in our booth, and now we're talking about rubbing shoulders with yeah. some greatness, aren't we, Mark Sweeney? Says this is greatness, and thank you for coming up here. Thank and congratulations. Yeah, thank Corporal you so much. Kyle for Carpenter, me. U.S. Marine Corps. He has just received the highest honor of the military by President Obama, the Medal of Honor, the Purple Heart. And we, he was showing us if he could turn a little bit the purple to this way so our camera can see. The uh, equivalent of the Medal of Honor is the blue with the stars. And then the purple, of course, for the Purple Heart. As a base hit delivered by Ramirez, he's two for two. Trying to keep track of the game here. Just you can call play by play anytime you want. Yeah. <laughs> Just jump yeah. in there. That sounds good. And you're uh, continuing your education now at the University of South Carolina. Yes, sir. That's correct. I'll be going in, in my sophomore year in the fall. And studying what? What do you want to do with the rest of your life? Uh, I want to help people. I want to make a positive impact on people's lives. I Really, I'm focusing on the immediate future, but I'm thinking about psychology, and I think that pertains to a lot of things in life. So I'm just excited to work towards my degree. Now, I know uh, a lot of it has to do with motivational speaking as well. Tell us a little bit about that and what you'd like to, your message you'd like to send. Uh, well, you know, after getting injured, uh, the opportunities started coming, and uh, I enjoy uh, getting simple messages out there. It's not nothing really complex, and it's nothing that uh, people can't relate to. It's when times get hard, you know, trust there's a bigger purpose. Uh, there's always light at the end of the tunnel, and people that have been there and done that and are willing to help and appreciate small things, uh, fresh water and, and meals and people that love you. And, uh, you know, just being over on the other side of the world and seeing people that are so less fortunate, kids that are just barely learning to walk. When the sun comes up, they're headed to the fields with their farm animals, no shoes on. And you don't see them again until the sun's going down. And just, we're very fortunate, we're very blessed in, in this nation and we've come a long way and a lot of people have sacrificed uh, life and limb to uh, get us to where we are. So uh, I just really try to relate to everybody. I mean, everybody goes through their own struggles and at any given point, somebody's having the worst day of their life. So just stay positive and, and trying to spread simple but uh, good messages. This man bravely in Afghanistan, a grenade thrown near one of his compatriots and uh, used his body against the grenade and miraculously you're here to talk about it today yes sir and uh, where does a man get that kind of strength and you must uh, you're raised in Jackson Mississippi your parents and friends uh, where do you call upon that kind of inner core strength well from the second we get to boot camp Marines it's instilled to us that from the very, very beginning of our recruit training that there's a bigger purpose that the Marines to the right and left of us are uh, all we have over there. That the uniform we wear, there's no individuals, it's, it's the entire Marine Corps and our ideals and our tradition, our history. Uh, all of those things look out to the Marine to the right and left of you and look out for your junior Marines. All those things that come together, um, you know, we really, we, we see a bigger purpose and, you know, Kickoff move, and they're able to get Ramirez. Uh, so were you a baseball player? You, your ceremonial first pitch there, you got it right in the strikes? Uh, yes, sir. You know, I, uh, <laughs> I didn't know how well that was going to go, but uh, I'm very pleased with the throw. Yeah. Did you play a little ball as a youngster in Mississippi? Absolutely. Uh, well, I was born in Jackson. Uh, my dad's job, we kind of moved all around the southeast, but there we go. But, um, uh, absolutely, second base, all growing up from T-ball on. I was absolutely a baseball player. That's, you know, that's a, not easy to go out there in front of this big audience and uh, find home plate. Even the major leaguers, we see them not finding the home plate. I know. I told a couple of players, watch out. I might, uh, I might take the job from them. <laughs> now, Corporal, did you get to spend some time with the players and the reaction from guys, especially in a baseball uniform and, and the reaction's got to be pretty pretty awesome for you i did it was it was incredible i mean i walk in and they were all just very appreciative they're very thankful and that means a lot i mean a lot of times i think people uh see severely injured guys and, and see all these guys coming back uh, that you know might have been injured mentally or physically and sometimes it's not 
You know, you don't have to raise millions of dollars. A simple thank you goes a long way. Well, we want to thank you. Thank you so much. Very much. Thank you for taking some time with no, us. Thank you for and having all the, me. All the best to you. San Come Diego's back and see incredible. Us again, huh? Oh, with this weather and the we view, I, I, I have to. Okay. <laughs> thank you Purple, so much. Thank you very much. It's an honor for us. Yeah. Thank you thank so you. much. I appreciate that. William Kyle Carpenter, U.S. Marine Corps, 24. Greg Gibson, the home plate umpire, motioning to both players. And the Dodgers celebrating in their dugout. That's into the right field corner. Robinson, nice catch for out number one. Well, I am a wizard from the future. Boom. I'm a real doctor. You had your walk-up music created. Who would compose it and or sing it? And what kind of music would it be? Uh, you know what? That's a good question.